The Princess of Wales became baffled and frustrated just months after her fairy tale wedding with the heir to the throne in July 1981 because she felt there was no equality in their relationship, a member of her staff revealed. Royal expert Sarah Bradford reported the anonymous source in her book, Diana, writing, a member of Diana's staff recalled that she used to complain that there was no equality in the marriage and that the Prince of Wales never for one second considered her to be an equal which was an impossible situation for her. This behavior, Mrs. Bradford said, is common to many royals who fail to take into consideration other people's needs, interests and lives. The author continued, this royal attitude is common to all the senior members of the family who never consider other people, their lives, their feelings or opinions. Many of the courtiers share the same view, hard for outsiders to comprehend. Princess Diana was especially affected by this dismissive behavior, the author said. Mrs. Bradford wrote, for Diana, determined to cling to her sense of self, it was baffling and frustrating to a degree. Diana and Charles's marriage ended in 1996 after tumultuous years filled with blistering televised confessions and affairs. The royal couple filed divorce papers under the request of Queen Elizabeth II, who in 1995 told Charles and Diana that an early divorce was desirable, as said in a statement from Buckingham Palace. The monarch reportedly became fed up with Diana after her tell-all interview to BBC Panorama, where she revealed intimate details of her life with the prince and the affair between Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles. But at the beginning of their marriage, Princess Diana was besotted with Charles and actually suffered from the fact he could not spend as much time as she wanted with her. Mrs. Bradford said, Diana, besotted with Charles, still failed to comprehend why he could not spend more time with her. Worse still was that no one seemed to take her seriously. Dot she was disregarded, and that was what hurt more than anything else, said one of her staff. Dot the comparison between Diana and Charles's diaries during her first years as a princess highlighted even more the empty life lived by the princess, the author said. She wrote, the imbalance between her empty life and Charles's busy one became more marked. He had a program of official duties.